area of a sector. So what is a sector? A sector is uh, a part of a circle enclosed by a radius or radii and an arc. So this is an arc. So this is an arc. And these are the two radii. Okay, so this is radius. This is also radius. And this is arc. So the area enclosed between two radii and an arc is called a sector. So this area is called a sector. So there's a neat formula for area of a sector. So if this is the angle that the sector makes at the center, so this is called the angle at the center, which is a theta. So the area of a sector is area of a sector. This formula may be given in your formula sheet, but it's a very neat formula to understand. Would be theta divided by 360 times the area of the circle, which is pi times radius squared. This is the area of circle, and this is theta divided by 360. Now, this is a fraction which tells you this is how much of the circle. So, this is a fraction. Okay, so let me explain this formula in it in an easy way. Okay, suppose this is a this is angle and the angle at the center is right angle. So the theta here is 90 degree. The theta is 90 degree. Now this is the radius or this are the radii. So use your common sense. What's the area of this sector? This part? Well, without any formula you can say you that is a quarter of a circle. So area of this sector would be a quarter of pi r squared or area of the circle. Now think about this. A quarter is same as writing 90 which is theta divided by 360. 90 divided by 360 is a quarter. Okay, now if someone is asking you what's the, suppose this is a circle with center. This is a center. What's this? This is also a sector. Okay, now this sector has a special name. This is called a semicircle. This is a semicircle. Now, what is the area of a semicircle? So, the area of a semicircle, well, is half the area of the circle, which is half times the area of circle, which is pi r squared. Now, what is this angle that is formed at the center? This angle is how many degrees? This theta is, well, this is 180 degree. So, this half can also be written as 180 divided by 360. So basically 360 is a full turn. So if you go 180 divided by 360, that's half. And that's half of the area of the circle. And that's what this formula is telling you. This, is, this gives you the fraction of the circle which the sector is. Okay, so this is theta divided by 360 gives you what is this sector as a fraction of the circle. So let us make up an example. So here, this angle, say let's say this angle is say 70 degrees and the radius is say 10 centimeters. The radius is 10 centimeters and we want to find the area of this sector. So well, the area of this sector, A for area would be formula is theta, that is 70 divided by 360 times pi times radius squared, which is 10 squared. So you, you're doing this on a calculator. This is 70 times pi times 10 squared divided by 360. You can do this on a calculator directly. So let's go 70 times uh, pi times 10 times, so let me do it, times 10 squared. Uh, let me delete this, time divided by 360. 70 times pi times 10 squared divided by 360, which is 61.09. I'm rounding this to two decimal places. 
I'm looking at the third decimal place which is 6 so I have to increase this by 1 so 61.09 what should be a unit 61.09 if you write 61.09 this is wrong okay because th this doesn't make any sense because you haven't written the unit you're writing area and here the length is centimeter so the unit would be centimeter squared if you don't write this this is wrong 